Yo, what's good boys, ZG Shaggy here back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer files from your PC directly to your PS3 without the need of a USB. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So the first program that you guys are going to need is FileZilla. Now I will leave it linked in the description down below. When you click on the link, it'll take you to FileZillaProject.org. And the one that you want to click on is Download FileZilla Client. Download it, run through the install process, and once when you do all that, you should have it on your desktop. Now, once when you have it on your desktop, it will look something like this once when you open it. You'll see host, username, password, and port. You don't have to worry about username, password, or port. The only one we care about is host. And in host is where you're going to put your PS3's IP address. Now, if you guys don't know where to find your PS3's IP address, I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to switch over to my PS3, and I'll meet you guys over there. Now that you guys are on your PS3, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download and install Webman Mod. Download it, install it, set it up. I'll have it linked in the description down below. You guys will need it before you can install FileZilla or, my bad, connect FileZilla to your PS3. Once when you do that, go to Settings, and we're going to scroll down until we find System Settings. Once when you find System Settings, we're going to scroll all the way down to System Information. Now that is where you're going to find your IP address. Copy it, write it down, memorize it, whatever. Once you have that written down or memorized, you can go ahead and head back to your PC and I'll meet you guys over there. Once when you're back on your PC, as you guys can see, I still have FileZilla open. What you're going to want to do is type in the IP address that we just got into the host bar. So for you guys, this is going to be blacked out, but that's not important for you. So in the host bar, go ahead and type in your IP address. And once when you have it typed in, go ahead and press quick connect. Now you will get a pop-up window for you guys if it's your first time doing this. Just go ahead and select OK. And now it does depend how long it takes to connect. Like as you guys see that connected in a couple seconds. But I've had it take up to 20 to 30 seconds before, so just give it time. So as you guys can see, this is what you would see in Multiman. So right here, here's my hard drive. If I open up my hard drive, I could see everything. My games folder, my game folder. And as you can see, here's GTA right here. I can go ahead and put in a mod menu if I want. I could change the eboot, whatever. But just to show you guys that this actually works, I'm going to drag something onto my USB. And I'm going to use Webman, for example. So as you guys can see, I open up Package Manager, install package files, and go to Standard. Now it says I have no package files installed, right? So I go ahead and back out of that. And I open up the dev underscore USB. And as you can see, I don't have Webman. I'm going to take Webman, and I'm going to drag it over. Now, depending on how big the file is, it can take a minute or two. I don't recommend copying games this way unless you're hardwired in. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to hardwire in directly to your PS3. That's just not something I feel like doing. So this is just for quick transfers, like if you don't have a USB, for example. So as you can see, here's Webman. It's in my USB. Now if I go to my PS3, open Package Manager, install package files, and scroll down to Standard, I have Webman Mod on my USB. Now you could do this for anything. Like I said, if you want to put a mod menu on there, if you want to put stuff directly in your USB to install package files, you could do that as well. This is just really easy. I like it, especially when I'm doing a lot of testing for videos, so I don't have to keep pulling out my USB and plugging it into my computer and back into my PS3. But yeah, guys, other than that, that's pretty much it. If you guys could, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.